And we are back. Power rankings. Week 10 edition. Starting us off at number 32, staying the same, we have the Arizona Cardinals. They got destroyed 27 to nothing against the Browns. There was nothing good that even came out of that game for them. There's legit nothing to say about that game that involves them. They just sucked that game. At number 31, we got the Panthers. They're going to be get, staying the same. They are 1-7. Cardinals are 1-8. The Panthers ended up losing 27-13 to the Indianapolis Colts. Another thing. Panthers don't really have much to talk about with that game. They didn't really do a whole lot. At number 30, we have the Giants. They're going to be going down one spot. Yeah, they had a brutal game. 27 to 6. Or excuse me, 30 to 6. Even worse. Yeah. Uh Daniel Jones out for the season as well with a torn ACL. It's just not looking good if you're a Giants fan. <clears throat> Number 29, we have the Bears. They're gonna be going down. Uh Three spots. They end up losing 24-17 to the Saints. So, honestly, very good job. They, that was a very competitive game. They kept it close pretty much the whole game. And, well, they just kind of failed to, you know, win. Yeah, that's about all there is. At number 28, we have the Patriots. They're going to be going down three spots. They ended up losing 2017 to the Commanders. Uh, and it is just not looking good if you're a Patriots fan either. Uh, there were some big plays, some catastrophic plays that, you know, tip picks, or excuse me, tipped interception to end the game. Uh, but I think there's a good chance, you know, you guys get a good pick and get a quarterback out of it. So that's at least something to look forward to. Number 27, we have the Raiders. They're going to be going up three spots. You won 30 to 6 against the Giants. I really, and I mean really, want to be sold on this team. I just can't be. I don't know why. I just can't be sold on this team. Something against me. Uh, they have been no good teams, and they have, you know, done very well against bad teams. I don't know how to feel about this team. Maybe next week I'll. Find something new about them. And I really hope I do. Because I feel so bad that I keep having the Raiders this low in the rankings. And I know they're a better team than where I have them at. <laughs> Number 26, we have the Rams going down a whopping nine spots. Uh, Yeah. They lost 20-3 to against the, uh, the Packers. And Brett Rippon did not look good whatsoever. Uh... And I feel like this is just kind of a sign that they need to move on and take a quarterback in this year's draft. I don't know if they have a first-round pick or not. I legit never know with the Rams. They've traded away so many first-round picks. I have no idea. At number 25, we have the Broncos. They're going to be going down a spot. Even though you're on a bye week, I do have the 24 Packers who are going up three spots jumping over you. They win 20 to 3 against the Rams in a very dominant game by them. They actually got a, a first down in the first half this game. So that is like a huge accomplishment for that team. And yeah, maybe they still have a chance to make the playoffs. Highly doubt it, but never say never. 23, we have the Jets. They're going to be going down two spots. Uh, yeah, that was a great game. 27 to 6. Prime time game. Monday night. <clears throat> I didn't watch that game for a reason, and boy am I glad I didn't. Come on, Jets. You at least gotta put some fight into it. You're four and five. You got a chance. 22, we had the Buccaneers going down two spots. This was arguably game of the year. 39 to 37. They lose in the final six seconds of the game. 
absolute heartbreak. But I, there's nothing else to say. But nothing. You lost. You gotta move on. Luckily, you're still in the NFC South, which is a pretty lackluster division so far. So maybe you do have a chance to make the playoffs for that. And hell, I would I would not count you guys out of just making a wild card spot. The whole entire NFC as a whole is not amazing. Number twenty one, we got the Commanders going up seven spots. They did nothing special against the Patriots. They won twenty to seventeen. Yada yada yada. But I realized I am being so hard on this team for no reason, and I I'm, this is probably going to be the same thing that happens to the Raiders next week if they're able to win. I have been so hard on this team for no reason, and I'm finally realizing mm-hmm. it. They deserve to be moved up, and that's exactly what they get. I think this is a way more fitting you know, spot for them, and I'm sorry for having them down at 28 last week. Number 20, we have the Titans. They're going to be going down a spot. They played their hearts out 20-16 to against the Steelers on Thursday night. Will Levis has made some amazing throws, and he is showing a lot of potential. And if you're a Titans fan, you've got to be happy about that. What sucks, however, is, you know, I feel like your window has kind of shut. Uh, and what also sucks is Derrick Henry's probably gone after this year, which is honestly a good thing for you guys because Derrick Henry is a great running back, but he is getting old, and he is well past his prime. I feel like, and I feel like it's going to show come next year. So you're moving on from him at the perfect time. Number 19, we got these Saints going up four spots. They get a nice 24-17 win over the Bears. They are now in sole possession of first place in their division. Uh, I could very well see this team making a run. Like I said, I think they have a chance at, you know, Winning, uh, making a Super Bowl run. Number 18, we have the Falcons. Mm-hmm. They're going to be going down two spots. I just don't know. They will manage to lose to a guy who's been in their system for two free days. I have no idea how you managed to do that, but here we are. Not great. Number 17, we have the Colts. They're going to be going up a spot. Uh, They ended up winning 27-13 against the Panthers. They played very dominantly, and they look like they got a good guy in Gardner Minshew. He's looked so well. Uh, I think he has potential to maybe be cut after this year or traded for, uh, you know, a starting job. And I'm just so happy to see that. Uh, someone's messaging me on PlayStation. You might be able to see. I'm cu- I'm currently messaging them right now. Uh, at number 16, we have the Vikings. They're going to be going up a whopping six spots. They, I played... Amazing so far. I mean, this is a team everyone counted out, including myself. And I could very well see the Vikings causing problems in the playoffs. Because they just have an amazing team. Daniel Hunter has played like defensive player of the year. Justin Jefferson isn't playing for them right now. And they're still doing well. I mean, this is a team who is fighting adversity, and they are doing everything they can, and they are winning. Number 15, we have the Texans staying the same. 39-37 to 37 win over the, uh, the Buccaneers. They played amazing that game. That was such a fun game to watch. They had a kicker, or excuse me, a running back have to play kicker because he was injured, the kicker was. And he still, he gave them the go-ahead field goal. It ended up, you know, mattering a lot. But they did have to score a touchdown in the end. I am so high on this Texans team. I hate it. But I just believe in this team so much that they could, they could be, you know, one of the best teams in, you know, a year, two years from now. 
Number 14, we have the Steelers staying the same. This Steelers team, I never fails to blow my mind. They have won another game while being like outperformed. They are five and three currently. They are currently the number five seed in the AFC. And they have, I, I don't think, like, won a single game stat-wise. That is saying, like, something. And I can't believe, you know, this is happening. So, I'm excited to see it. Uh, they, I think this Steelers team has always been, like, that very defensive-heavy team. And that's what's keeping them in games. And number 13, we have the Seahawks. They're going to be going down five spots. Uh, 37 to 3. That's not amazing. I mean, that was horrific. You were supposed to be one of the contenders. Now you look like such a pretender, man. 37 to 3. Listen, it's one game, but do not let this define you. You have to battle against it. You can't allow that to happen again, or else you're you're plummeting down. Number 12, we had the Bills going down two spots. They did their best. 24-18 against the Bengals. The Bengals just have always outperformed the Bills. And it has showed. Uh, this Bills team... Is looking very questionable. They're currently outside the playoffs. They're currently on the outside looking in. So that's saying, uh, you know, something. Uh, I could very well see this team missing the playoffs. They're just such a, a shaky team. And when they are shaky, they underperform drastically. At number 11, we have the Chargers. They're going to be going up a spot. This team is starting to form together some wins. They're back at 500 now at 4-4. Four and four. They are right outside that playoffs now. And I... I'm still holding out confidence that they are able to compete. The only thing holding them back is their coach. I have always said that. I think they have a chance to go all the way if they didn't have Brandon Staley as their coach. I hate him. Everyone, if you've watched the videos, you know I hate him. He is holding them back. This Chargers team has been phenomenal. Arguably a top three roster in the league, in my opinion. Top five. For sure. But they just have a horrible coach who's always holding them back, man. Number 10, we have the Browns. They're going to be going up a spot. Listen, man, I'd love to be hype about this, but it it's the Cardinals. No offense, it's the Cardinals. So, I can't be sore on you. Number 9, we have the 49ers. They're going to be staying the same. They had a bye week. And number 8, we have the Bengals going up four spots. They... Are looking good. They are five and three. They're in the playoffs now at the seven seed currently. The AFC North is looking phenomenal, and the Bengals are looking like they're not ready to give up yet. I'm a big fan of this team right now. They're building together. Zach Taylor actually looks like a competent head coach. It's all looking good for the Bengals. Let's just keep it that way. And number seven, we have the Dolphins. They're gonna be going now five spots. You got embarrassed in Germany. You had to come back, and you still fell short. Tua made one of the worst reads we've seen, thinking it was a different play. Uh, yeah, I have no idea. But I could see this team making a run, and it's just a matter of can they piece it together because they have not looked good against competitive teams. They need to figure that out. I think they are right now. Looking at an early exit in the playoffs. And they might win their division because we all just have seen the Bills and the Jets. They haven't looked amazing. We all know the Patriots aren't competing. So they might just win by default. At number six, we have the Lions. They're going to be going nowhere. They stay the same. They had a bye week. At number five, we have the Cowboys. They're going to be going down a spot. You gave it your absolute all against the Eagles. And I respect that. 28-23, you kept that game so close. That was an amazing game to watch. You have to figure it out. I think you'll be a great team. I don't know how you're going to do come playoffs. You've always been a regular season team. And you're proving me right. You're 6-3 and three right now. You're currently the 5 seed. 
Uh, unfortunately, it does push you a bit back in the, uh, the conference due to, you know, the Eagles now having the tiebreaker over you and a two-game lead. But you could definitely catch up. At number four, we have the Ravens going up two spots. I feel so bad for the Ravens. They are number four, the Ravens. I feel like all four, the top four teams right now, hell, if the Cowboys would have won, I would have said five teams could all be placed number one, depending on who you ask. I feel like it's that close of kind of a race between these top teams. I feel like every single uh, game towards like the when these games these teams play are going to be you know blood baths. You know, trading points left and right or defenses, you know, forcing stops left and right. It's going to be amazing. Unfortunately, I think the Ravens just fall short compared to those standards because Lamar is the shakiest quarterback. I mean, when he's on it, he's on it. But when he's not, he, ha- he has to rely on his team a lot. And number three, we have the Jaguars staying the same. I love this team, man. They're on a bye week, so they're not moving. I want to put them higher. But every week, there's just one team who always overperforms them. So they just kind of stay there while they get leapfrogged. And then that next week, that team manages to lose. And it's like, well, why would I do that? And number two, we have the Chiefs going up three spots. Here's the team I'm talking about. They beat the Dolphins. They had a dominant first half. They kind of let their foot off the gas in the second half, let the Dolphins catch up, had to play defense, and managed to hold on. I don't know. Why they're making things difficult, but they are, and that's where we are. The Chiefs are number two, and number one, of course, is going to be the Eagles. Until they lose, they're going to be number one. This is the best roster. They have what looks like a top five head coach. They have a top five quarterback. They have a top five receiver. They have a top five tight end, arguably. They have a top five defense, arguably. They have a good kicker. Like They got everything. And it's going to take a lot for this team to lose. But that's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I did. I'll see you guys next time, which will be tomorrow with uh, predictions. Bye. Hope you enjoyed.